All right, this is Houston Vines with Insight TV and the Vineyard Marketing Group, and I'm here in Farmer, North Carolina. I'm with the kitchen manager from Main Street Chicken and Barbecue, Mr. Melvin Green. Melvin Green. All right. Tell me a little bit about how did you get involved with Main Street? Because you, know, you got that kitchen. The food is coming out really, really good. We have to be able to come up with a concept. Mr. Jones and his staff came up with the concept first of fusion a uh, variety of home-cooked meals specializing in barbecue pork, smoked chicken, and ribs. I got into the business by a mutual friend and I owed him a favor. He asked me would I come out of retirement to help him and I did so. And I came down here to make sure everything is ran uh, efficiently and professionally as possible and we specialize in uh, safety. You have to have someone to uh, overlook the operation as far as making sure the food is turned out in a safe environment, as well as a very, uh, a very efficient manner. Efficient manner. And, and, and the food's still got to be good. Still got to be good. Still got to be good. So, so Safety is our main issue. Now, you mentioned that you came out of retirement. Oh, yes. So were you into the cooking? Yes, I was a food service manager for the Department of Correction for 21 years. Okay. And before that, I worked at a variety of restaurants from anything from bartending to cooked uh, to your, a variety of our jobs. But I really learned how to cook by watching my mother cook in the kitchen, and then I just took that concept and moved it further. Okay. Now, you said the correction facility. Now, you didn't cook these ribs like this in the correction facility. No, we didn't cook the uh, <laughs> ribs in the correction facility, but we learned, how to, we learned a lot of uh, uh, safety aspect in the Department of Correction. Gotcha. And portion control. Portion that control. was very important. Portion control. You got to make sure you know what you got to cook with and how much to cook with and how much you have left over okay. and utilize all those things you have left over if you can. Okay. Now let me ask you this because I know Main Street, the food is wonderful because I come down and I'm helping with the marketing and different things right. and they still keep getting their money back because I end up with a plate when I leave. The food's good. Right. Um, but tell me, I know you guys do catering. Right. Uh, how can, now with catering, I know sometimes it can be difficult for some folks because they just like, I got 25 or I got 30 people. They don't really know how to estimate the cost. So you guys handle that as well? Yes, we do. Preparation is the key to uh, anything that you that you specialize in, like uh, outside of the kitchen, out of, out of the main menu, mm -hmm. a venue rather. Mm -hmm. You have to know how many, what the cost going to be to do per plate, or was it going to be plated, or was it going to be head. But all that is specialized through the management staff, Mr. Jones, uh, Mrs. Williams, and myself. Okay. We coordinate on how much you're going to be used, how much it's going to cost to do this, how much it's going to cost to buy it. So you have to have a plan, okay. and you have to be able to stay on point, because you can lose it or you can make it out there when you thought the catering. There There's go. a lot of profit in catering, but you got to watch the bottom line. There you go. Once again, this is Houston Vines with the Vineyard Marketing Group, Insight TV here in Farmville, North Carolina at Main Street Chicken and Barbecue. The information is going to be on the bottom of the screen. Actually, you'll be able to go to the website and find out even more and then give them a call. They give you a great price. simply lost his way he broke his wings i helped him heal and then he flew away well, the death of love is everywhere but i won't let it be there will be